core footprint too, not the yeah. full server. That's right. That was server core versus ser full server. Oh, right. And almost. Whose fault is that? Okay. I'm sure some software developer thought he was helping. <laughs> so this is a demo of a reboot of Nano Server. And I gotta point out, the guy's got crap hardware. Okay, so. Okay, so 27 second reboot. I kind of like that. All right. Uh, perf differences from nano server versus server core, we haven't measured those yet. Okay, obviously we've measured resource utilization, but not perf differences, uh, except for, of course, reboots. Reboots are crazy fast, setups crazy fast. Again, kind of slow hardware, 100 megabit um, a switch. We did a, a full nano server, like raw machine, service machine, running hypervisor, ready to go in about three minutes. And with server core, that was 19 minutes. So pretty fast. Um, any products precluded from nano server because of .NET or the GUI? Obviously, uh, remote desktop is the only core one. The other ones have to decide, uh, are there portions of full .NET that they require, or can they refactor? Uh, Win32 product, I believe we just fixed Win32 product, didn't we, Kenneth? Win32 product, you know, there's, this was the issue that uh, if you did get WMI, get SIM instance of Win32 product, it did some hideous thing calling the MSI installer or something, is that it, MSI installer? I think we have a new way to do that, that that is uh, more reliable. So that, we didn't fix that class. We provide a different way of doing it that I think is now reliable. Oh, Kenneth doesn't know. Okay, anyway. Okay. I, apparently I'm the only one on the PowerShell team that knows that. There are these amazing things called check-in mails, and if you read them. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. Huh? Because I don't know, because I'm a lousy reader. Okay. <laughs> I might have been projecting my hopes and dreams into the check-in mail. That was really what it was. I believe the answer is yes. Um, okay, provision containers via PowerShell, that was the answer I mentioned before. There will almost certainly be a way to do that. How do I install things on Nano? Okay, so currently there's a couple answers. One is some well-defined ways like DISM. You do DISM. You do X copy deploy. So all the stuff we're doing with Chef, all X copy deployable, Nginx, uh, Django, we've got Django running, X copy, X copy, X copy. Uh, we're looking at some other mechanisms, but nothing to announce. Won't be MSI. Is this the general future for Microsoft? I don't talk about the general future of Microsoft, but <laughs> server, I can say. Don't get me wrong, is MSI dying? Is MSI, again, I'll say that for nano server, MSI is not going to be there. Yeah. Okay, any new modules for uh, uh, nano? Again, I, I think, let's see, well, let's find out. So, using the amazing PowerShell, get list okay. and here is one P 
PMP device. We didn't have that one before. So there's get PMP device, oh, PMP device. And you get PMP devices. So yeah, um, so uh, you know, we're, we're very early days on this. Uh, I've got a video demo here from, I'm bad with dates, but maybe, maybe 10 weeks ago, and we had just gotten PowerShell up and running, and I think we had 180 commandlets. Uh, and then a few weeks after that, we had like 300 commandlets. And now if I say get command to measure, we have maybe 635. Okay, so things are moving pretty quickly. And I'm running out of time. I see Don, Don getting nervous. Okay, so let me give you, a, let me just find the interesting one or two left here. Oh, what mistakes were made with PPS? I think the return statement was a big mistake. I was, we were just talking about that over lunch. So we, we wanted to be more friendly to programmers, and so we provided a return statement. But if you uh, omit something in the script before that, it also gets returned. That was really a mistake. Really, if you use the return statement, everything else should have been thrown away. In classes, that's the semantic. I think that was a big mistake. Um, I think that uh, transactions have not played out as well as I thought that they would. Uh, they are used, uh, people use both the pattern and themselves, but I think the transactional mindset for, for uh, uh, management is going away. Um, what, what are you looking that way for? Richard? Richard's looking at me like I got a rat's tail hanging out of my mouth. Did you, did you realize that PowerShell supported transactions? <laughs> and if you didn't know that PowerShell supports transactions, you can say start transaction, and then you can make a bunch of changes to the registry, and you can say, no, that wasn't a good idea, and you can stop the transaction, and they all get thrown away. Or you can commit them. Anyway, um, I don't know, I think that was, those are the, it, it, kind of shocking how few things have worked out, but I didn't like the return statement. Oh, anything else? Okay. Um, NTFS, yes. Com. I don't know the answer to com. Let's see. Okay, well, it says it's there. Anybody got a good com object that runs on nano server? <laughs> Like, don't say shell. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I don't know. It's a good question. Um, and new security. Okay, let's 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 stop strong on. Oh, PowerShell Gallery coming out party. When is our PowerShell Gallery coming out party? Where anybody can can contribute. Joey's going to talk about that tomorrow. Yeah, last session of the conference. Joey. Joey. Yeah, great stuff. Okay, so uh, security, yeah, uh, we have very much invested in security. Uh, I would uh, encourage you to pay attention at Ignite. Uh, this really is the first product round that we've had this new mindset with security, okay? So a few years ago, as part of our you know, voice of technology planning, I looked out at the world, actually what had happened was, I read Rosinovich's book over, uh, over vacation, and it scared me quite badly, and then I started asking around, like, is this just crap, or is this real? And people were like, oh, no, that's real. It's like, like, really real or real? I'm like, no, it's real. It's like, well, okay, what are we doing about it? And they're like, well, you know, this, this, this. I said, well, that doesn't seem to be up to the task. And they're like, well, that's what we're doing. So I thought, well, geez, I guess I'm the guy responsible for fixing this. So I started an effort, and by the way, I'm just a complete dope when it comes to security, right? But we've got great guys like Lee, awesome at security, and then we've got this guy, Anders Vinberg, technical fellow, great at this stuff. So we've got those guys involved and put together a program. And the big change was um, we had been very much focused in on this protect the platform, protect, 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 protect. Now, we will continue to do that, and at Ignite you'll see some really exciting new investments that we've made in protecting the platform, some really kind of revolutionary thinking in that space. But we then shifted to a really a much more mature mindset. And that mature mindset basically said, you have to assume that the bad guys are, are, are breached, that you're already breached. Now the question is, what are you gonna do about that? Okay, and so that's where you have to be able to detect things, 
You have to be able to evict people, et cetera. And so again, you're gonna see some more stuff there. But if you attended Lee and uh, Jeff's talk today, all, most of that was all about that new mindset, making sure that we have the right events to be able to get there. Why do we uh, encrypt the logs? Because we assume there's a bad guy there, and if the bad guy's reading your event logs and can find secrets, it's gonna make things worse. So we protect the logs and then we transfer them. Uh, we're already showing Operations Insight, where you can go put a collector on your boxes, send your events up to the cloud to do big data analytics on it, and in particular, security analytics on it. And in the next version of Windows Server, every server SKU will have the anti-malware agent on by default, including nano server. So those sizes there included the anti-malware agent. So anyway, uh, it's been a great conference so far. Another great day to come. You're gonna come up here and like leave them out here, Don? Don, let me explain my, your job to you. <laughs> As the host, it's good to host the event. Big round of applause. Thank you, John.